is day number 14 of my little series I'm currently running here on my channel, which is 14 days of holiday makeup looks using new slash popular palettes, which means this is the last day. And what better a day and what better a palette to end this series on than the Sydney Grace Cross Mel Thompson Tiny Marbles palette. This is such a special, special palette to so many of us in the makeup community. And I did ask on my community tab what palette you guys wanted to see last. And it was very much a resounding Tiny Marbles Mel Thompson palette. Pretty please. And I couldn't agree more. It's just... Mel was such a special part of this community and we need to honor her in every way we can. Let's be real. So we're gonna create a look using this Tiny Marbles palette today and end off this series. So hopefully you've enjoyed it so far. If you have, pretty please go ahead and do the YouTube -y things. Go ahead and give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, hit that notification bell and let's get into it. Last look, can you believe it? We made a whole 14 days of holiday makeup looks. I really hope that you guys have enjoyed it. I really, really do. It has been a lot of work, this one, not gonna lie. Um, but let me know in the comments which day was your favorite so far. I have primed using my Kaleidos eye primer today. This is actually a really good eye primer if you have been wondering. And we're gonna dip straight in. So the first shade I'm gonna dip into is Tree Hopper right here on a refer number 16. I just, I still love this palette. I actually use this palette quite a lot for my work looks because it's such a really lovely uh, neutral-ish palette. And I, I, use, I always use Fire Butts. Fire Butts is honestly just like one of my favorite green shadows. So I'm gonna start by squirling this into the outer corner here. I did pick up, I think I've already said this in the series, but I did pick up Mel's version of the retro palette from Sydney Grace as well. It's just been an indie brand, they're shipping. It's going to take a really long time to get here, which is fine. So I, I do have that. And when I do have that bundle in my hot little hands, you best believe we will be filming with it. You best believe. It'll actually be interesting because... I obviously picked up the Natasha Denona Retro Glam Palette, which all things going to plan, all things going to plan, that review will be up on my channel tomorrow. So hopefully, fingers crossed, everything's gone to plan. Uh, but I actually picked up the Natasha Denona New Retro Glam. I obviously have the original retro, like midi, and then I also picked up the mini retro from Natasha. Cause I was like, you know what? This retro thing's been a big thing. I wanna get all of the palettes and compare and like just kind of see. Um, so we're gonna compare those. And then also I will compare Mel's version against the Natasha one. And I have a feeling I'm probably gonna like Mel's a little bit better, but we'll see. I think from what I'm seeing, I haven't watched any reviews, but from what I'm seeing of the Natasha retro palette so far, uh, retro Glam, sorry. I think it'll be a good companion palette to use with your other Natasha Denona palettes or other palettes in your collection. Just because, and I could be wrong, I haven't got it in, like, got it in the mail yet or anything. But, um, it just looks like those kind of mint greens are quite hard to formulate. They're quite hard to build up sometimes. And I know those greens in her retro, uh, sorry, her pastel palette, for example, they didn't perform exceptionally well, I won't lie. So I will be interested to see how they perform. But yeah, I think using it in conjunction with your other palettes, like especially if you have the other Natasha Denona like Glam and Retro palettes, I think that it will work probably pretty good. But it will be very interesting to see how it goes. Of course, you shouldn't have to buy a palette and use it with other palettes to make it work. It would just more so be if you wanted to do that, and especially if you already have them in your collection, it might be a nice little unique kind of one, especially with Natasha Denona parts. The cool thing, this isn't a Natasha Denona video, but the cool thing about them is you can take the shades out, like they, they just pop out. So you can like mix and match your own palette, which is quite cool. I have built up Tree Hopper. Now I'm gonna go into Flutter By, which is this cute little pink. And I'm going to take this on a... What brush am I going to take this on? I'll take this on a What's Up R105. So I'm going to take Flutterby. This might be too light, but I just want to add a tinge of this kind of light coral into the crease as well. I'm not necessarily using this as like a deepening shade, more just something to like tinge the shade with. I could have gone in with this as a transition shade straight up, but I didn't want it to be like straight coral. 
I did still want that like neutral color in there. I've had this palette for a couple of years. Actually, I think I've had this palette two years now. I think, maybe I got it last year actually. Did I get this last year or 2020? No, I probably got this last year actually. Maybe I've only had it a year. Why do I feel like I've had this two years? I'll have to go back and have a look at my channel. Also, if you can hear like noises, my husband's downstairs watching TV and it just kind of echoes through the house. I've already made him turn it down once, so I kind of feel bad making him turn it down again. <laughs> I'm picking up a BK Angie Hot and Flashy A502 and I will go into the spider color right here. So I'm just gonna tap this. I'm pretty sure they had this on pre-order. They have, or they have this on pre-order right now too. And I think that they have this and the bundle of Mel's retro glam singles as well on pre-order. If you did still wanna pick this up, I do recommend picking this palette up, honestly. I really, really do. And um, the proceeds go to help Mel's family is lovely. I might actually mix in a little bit of Bugaboo. So my Pat McGrath Loves Intensify stick is packed away in the makeup that I'm taking away with me. So we're just going to, luckily Mel's metallic or the metallic formula in Mel's palette is like pure cream almost. It's like one of the best metallic formulas I've ever come across ever. So I won't actually need an intensify stick today anyway. I'm going to pick up my Rifer 28 and let's go into Meadow Hawk first. Even the name she came up with this for, the, for this palette is just so cool. I have a couple of other videos using this palette on my channel. So I'll link them in the description box for you along with like all of the products I'm using and everything just like normal. So I'm going to tap this into this outer portion here. I might even just go straight in with my finger. There we go. Look at that shade. Oh, she is special. And then I'll just use the brush to like finesse a little bit. Look at that. It's just such a good quality palette. So beautiful. Okay, now I'm gonna go into Marvel right here. I love this Marvel shade. This is like, apart from Firebutts, this is my other go-to shade in the palette. Look at the metallic. Absolutely perfect. Perfect. I've gotta be honest, there's only one shade I don't use and it's this BB shade. It's just too gold for me. <laughs> it's the only one that I would replace in this whole palette, Sean. Like. Going back into Bugaboo right here. So I'm going to leave this here. I'm going to go, I've got a little bit of fallout, so I'm going to clean that up and then we'll do the speed through of my base makeup and then finish up the look. So let's do it. Face makeup is on and I put the KVD black eyeliner on the top waterline. I put my uh, Kaleidos Duo Chrome or Multi Chrome Liner in Tourmaline on my lower waterline and then I've put my Ilia Mascara on as well. So let's just quickly run a little bit of color underneath the lower lash line. I'm going to just take this Sephora Precision Shadow Brush and go into a mix of Tree Hopper and a mix of Flutterby and I will just... 
underneath here. Oh, I love how this look has turned out that much. It's not even funny. I'm actually gonna leave that like that. For inner corner, I'm just gonna pop the champagne-y shade, which is web. Oh God, that's divine. These shadows, you guys, they're so good. The metallics especially. Let's do lips, because the eyes are finished and I think they look incredible. This might be actually my favorite look that I've done this whole time. I love this look. I got this Fenty Beauty lipstick because I never really wanted to, I don't, to be fair, I didn't really care about the Fenty Beauty lipsticks. I just wanted this lipstick case that badly. Like, I just love this like berry color thing with the, like the cream, I, I love this packaging and it's awesome. I feel like if I was gonna have a holiday collection for my makeup brand, like this is what I would have. So I got this shade, uh, let me see, Mother Lover, but it's pretty light. I didn't expect it to be so light. So it doesn't look like that light in the bullet, but on the hand, like swatched out, it's pretty light. So I thought I'd mix it with Bark from Vive. So this is the Bark lip liner. I'm gonna line my lips with. And I'm just gonna color in the outer corners as well. And then I'm gonna take Mother Lover and put it in the center. Hmm. All right, let me go and do my hair and we'll zoom back and see the finished look, so two seconds. This is the finished makeup look. What do you guys think? I think this is my favorite of the whole 14 days, Shan't Why? I really love it. I just think Mel's palette is so incredible. She really created something that I just feel like will stand the test of time. Like it really is a legacy for her and I just think it's incredible, but I love the way that the look turned out. It's so beautiful and special in, in my opinion and feels very me, which is important. Okay, that wraps up this series. Let me know what your favorite look was down below. If you have watched every single day, truly, truly from the bottom of my heart, thank you so much. I appreciate you tremendously and if you have, watched all 14 days and made it to this point. You're an absolute legend. Thank you so, so much. If you haven't already, pretty please give the video a thumbs up and subscribe. It helps my channel out so, so much. And we're still trying to, we're shooting for the stars and get trying to get to 10K by the end of the year. Can we do it? Who knows? <laughs> and other than that, I hope that you have the most amazing day wherever you are in the world. And I will see you next time. Bye.